The school district handed over documents concerning the construction of May River High School and another school, River Ridge Academy, in January. This third subpoena requests all information on Jeff Moss and also the district's involvement with more than 30 other companies. We're not privy to the details of the investigation. We, all we know is uh, the documents that are requested in the subpoenas, and we're providing those. Three subpoenas from the U.S. Attorney's Office, two of which the Buford County School Board refused to release in February, saying it could hurt the integrity of the investigation. Those two subpoenas concerning the construction of May River High School and River Ridge Academy. The most recent subpoena requests the personnel file of former Superintendent Jeff Moss, including employment contracts and annual performance reviews and ratings, and also requests travel and entertainment expenses, bonuses, and donations from outside sources. Uh, we did not know that was coming. Was there a red flag on your end? of any sort of suspicious activity? Nothing on my end. You never saw anything? Nothing. In a mutual agreement with the school district, Moss resigned in May, two years before the end of his contract. In his five years with the district, Moss violated state ethics twice, suffered two failed referendums, and now faces this ongoing FBI investigation. It's unclear if the investigation into Moss is connected to the two subpoenas and to the construction of these two Bluffton schools. The entire school district and every employee of the district and the school board members want this investigation to be resolved as quickly as possible. The school system has a little less than one month to compile Moss's subpoenaed information and files on these 34 education product companies. We're doing precisely what we are being told to do. Those files are due to the U.S. Attorney's Office no later than September 11th. As for now, the district assures me that students will return to school on Monday, business as usual. Reporting in Beaufort County, I'm Daniela Wan, WTOC News.